still. And of course your mind can still quieten, but it can still remain active enough to process new information. Because you're still you. Even though on the inside you can become much more still and at ease. Now. Because it's a lot like a, a pond or a lake and the water. If left alone, is still and clear. And sometimes things come along on the outside, events, people, life. And they create ripples or even splashes in your pond. Sometimes life will come along and throw a rock in your pond and of course you get stirred up. Of course. Because we're human, because that's what we do. And you'll feel the effects of those ripples and for a little while those ripples will find their way across the still surface out to the shore. But that's okay. Because the only thing you need is a little bit of time. You see, it's not even required to do anything. You don't go and smooth the water over your hand or a trowel or a technique. You just allow it to be still and clear because the nature of water is to be still and clear. And while your subconscious mind processes not just my suggestions but your own, your own suggestions bring about that stillness. You can know that thoughts are just thoughts. And of course you can be aware of thought and it passes. It's okay because there'll be another one along in a minute but it's really just a thought. And thoughts can be like throwing pebbles into your pond. A splash, a ripple, a little bit of time, a reset. A splash, a ripple, a little bit of time, reset. There's actually nothing you can do to stop yourself now resetting back to that stillness. But there's nothing you have to do. There is nothing to do. Because the nature of us is to be well. And the absence of anything pulling us out of shape and the absence of anyone or anything throwing rocks in our pond. We get to be still quiet and clear. Always able to reset. That's right. And so as you listen to the sound of my voice, sometimes words, events are like those pebbles or rocks in the pond. And then, and then silence brings the quiet and the reset to mind. Just like you really think about it. The music is the space that's in between the notes and the rest is just noise. You are changing. You are resetting. Resetting to a, to a very specific place. Resetting to good as new. A good as new is very different from repaired. Good as new is, well, good as new. As if it never happened. And there's nothing to do and nothing to maintain and nothing to focus on. 
nothing to blame and nothing to excuse. There's just good as new. Almost like a restore factory settings. Because we all have that function. Exactly the same as if you were to go into your computer or your phone and you go deep into the settings like we are now. And you find a, an option and it says restore factory settings. And it doesn't matter what the device or what we've been through. It doesn't matter how many times it's been dropped or hurt. It doesn't matter how many scuffs and scrapes, both physically and emotionally, we've had. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many faulty programs it's run. The factory reset, restore factory settings. Always resets back to good as new on the inside. And sure, we may have some scuffs and scrapes in the physical world, of course. It's just the age of life. But on the inside, we're only ever one thought away from being well. We're only ever one thought away from good as new. You're only ever one thought away from stillness. You're only ever one thought away from quiet. You're only ever one thought away from good as new. True, authentic self. Exactly as you've always been. Exactly as you always will be. At your core. On the inside. No matter what. Only now with the sense of knowing that. Reset. Is always there. And in fact all you have to do to reset is to just. Relax into it and let go. In fact there is nothing to do. You see if you're striving to be happy. You're going to bear it the wrong way. Happiness is what happens when you let go, not hold on so tightly. Letting go for it. That's it. Letting go for it. Calm, relaxed, confident, happy, content, joyful, true, authentic. Self. And all you have to do for all those things to be front and center in your life is to just let go for it. No. Just let go for it. No. Because in letting go you you get so much more. And you get to enjoy it too. And so as your understanding, your awareness carries you. And that pond that carries you like a stream carries a twig. Effortlessly. Just on and on. And under a bridge maybe. And sometimes that twig will get stuck. Find some reeds or a rock or... It doesn't mean that the twig needs therapy. It just needs a nudge. Back out into your own flow. And sometimes you'll get stuck. It doesn't mean you need therapy. You just need a nudge. Back out into your own flow. A flow from now on that can start to feel normal. 
the way forward. The next part, the next chapter, the next song to play out exactly in your own style. Because for the next song, you, you get to decide on the notes. You get to decide on the rhythm and the tempo and the style and even the volume. Because it's your song to play as you like, however you like, so long as that song is true. And so as you relax and as you unwind and as you let go and equally it doesn't matter how complex you choose to make that song or how simple. It's yours. And it's yours to play. And you can choose to write something that's very impactful but there's really a little more than three chords in the truth. Or you can choose to write a symphony. That's up to you. It's entirely up to you. But one is not better than the other. Just different. Powerful in its own way. Unique in its own design. Played from the heart. That's right. And so as you relax in the quiet of the space between the notes, you reset right now. And so every time you sleep and every time you dream and you will, each of these suggestions and your own subconscious mind suggestions, they Reinforce again and again and again and again and again. Now, 